डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई शिक्षण प्रोग्राम इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी अंडरस्टूड अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम व्हाट इज एन इलेक्ट्रोड एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड्स सी द सरफेस ऑन विच ऑक्सीडेशन और रिडक्शन हाफ रिएक्शंस अक्कर इज कॉल्ड एन इलेक्ट्रोड सो द different types of electrodes uh, uh, we have uh, understood metal metal ion electrode metal uh, metal insoluble salt electrode then uh, gas electrode ion selective electrodes then uh, redox electrodes and uh, amalgam electrodes so metal metal ion electrodes uh, are the ones in which a metal is dipped in a solution containing its own ions a metal say for example zinc is dipped in a solution having uh, its own ions containing its own ions zinc rod when dipped in zinc sulfate similarly copper rod in uh, solution of copper sulfate then uh, silver in uh, a solution of silver nitrate so that is uh, a metal uh, they are uh, metal metal ion electrodes then uh, metal metal insoluble electrodes metal metal insoluble salt electrodes best example is uh, the well known uh, uh, well known secondary reference electrode the calomel electrode so they will have a metal in combination with uh, 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 a metal along with uh, its insoluble salt say for example this calomel electrode if we take mercury in contact with its insoluble salt mercurous chloride in contact with a solution having its own ions in contact with uh, kcl so a metal along with its insoluble salt in contact with a solution having uh, anion of the salt used mercury mercurous chloride slash cesium uh, metal hg hg2cl2 slash uh, cl minus a metal along uh, with in contact with its uh, insoluble salt mercurous chloride and uh, these two are in uh, contact with a solution having the anion of the salt uh, employed anion of the salt is cl minus cl minus is the anion of the salt and uh, kcl is the electrolyte used so the anion of kcl is cl minus so it is one of the examples of metal metal insoluble salt similarly even the silver silver chloride electrode one more uh, uh, secondary reference electrodes ag agcl electrode ag agcl slash cl minus we have already discussed all this uh, a metal in contact with uh, its insoluble salt and uh, in these two are in contact with a solution having uh, the anion of the salt agcl cl minus so this is one more example of uh, metal metal insoluble salt uh, electrode then uh, membrane electrodes ion ion selective electrodes ion selective electrodes are the one which are uh, specific specific to a particular ion and uh, they develop a potential proportional to the concentration of that particular ion the best example is uh, the, the glass electrode so glass electrode is selective to h plus ions so it senses only h plus ion when glass electrode is dipped in a solution containing h plus say when glass electrode is immersed in a solution having uh, hcl it develops a potential proportional to the concentration of only h plus ion and it ignores the cl minus ions present in the solution and the potential developed is proportional to the concentration of h plus ions the concentration of h plus ions so glass electrode is employed to measure the ph of the solutions ph is nothing but the measurement of the concentration of h plus since glass electrode senses h plus ions it can be employed to measure the concentration of uh, the h plus ions 
and one more type of electrodes is the gas electrode. Gas electrode, so for example, the hydrogen electrode, okay, platinum H2 slash H plus. So, this electrode consists of an inert metal into which uh, the gas is bubbled, say hydrogen in this case hydrogen is passed, hydrogen is bubbled over uh, um, foil of platinum okay? and uh, this platinum must be dipped in a solution containing the H plus ions. So, this must be containing the ions that are reversible to the gas that is bubbled. So, when see H 2 is reversible to the H plus ions. So, this is standard hydrogen electrode the only primary reference electrode. So, this is the reaction that occurs when it acts as anode. On the other hand, if it acts as cathode, then 2 H plus plus 2 electrons give they form hydrogen. Okay. So, this is one of the examples of gas electrode. Then redox electrodes, redox electrodes develop a potential due to the see this is the best example platinum when uh, in contact with Fe 2 plus and Fe 3 plus ions due to this uh, it develops platinum develops a potential. Okay. Then uh, amalgam electrodes, amalgam electrodes are similar to metal metal ion electrodes, but in case of amalgam electrodes the metal is a known quantity, known amount of the metal is dissolved in amalgam, dissolved in amalgam mercury. So, all this we have understood, then uh, we have uh, studied or we have discussed even this, uh, this the construction and uh, working of uh, uh, standard hydrogen electrode. Standard hydrogen electrode is a reference electrode. Reference electrode is the one whose potential is constant and it is used to determine the potential of other electrodes. So, with the help of this uh, standard hydrogen electrode, the potential values of other electrodes have been determined. So, there are two types of uh, reference electrodes. two types of reference electrodes are primary reference electrode and uh, primary reference electrode and secondary reference electrodes. So, primary reference electrode is uh, she, the only primary reference electrode is she, standard hydrogen electrode. So, how is it constructed? I have already told in uh, our uh, previous class. So, it consists of a foil of platinum dipped in a solution of a 1 molar HCl and hydrogen gas is bubbled, hydrogen gas is purged at a pressure of 1 atmosphere. If these conditions are maintained, then the potential value of she is will be, it will be 0. It is arbitrarily chosen as 0. Okay. So, it is the only primary reference electrode and with the help of, with the help of it, with the help of uh, the standard hydrogen electrode, the potential values of other electrodes have been determined. Okay. So, there are certain advantages, but uh, there are certain limitations also. This she has got, okay. it is the construction is difficult and uh, the maintenance is, is also difficult. It is uh, difficult to maintain a concentration of uh, 1 molar and even this pressure is difficult to maintain. Okay, then uh, the um, electrode platinum gets easily poisoned. So, due to these limitations or uh, the disadvantages, certain sec other reference electrodes are employed. Certain other electrodes are employed as reference electrodes and they are called uh, secondary reference electrodes. So, secondary reference electrodes are also reference electrodes only. Even their potential values are constant and these electrodes 
also can be just like the standard hydrogen electrode, these electrodes can be employed to determine the potential of other electrodes. But the potential of these, the potential values of these second reference electrodes have been determined by combining them with the standard, the primary reference electrode, standard hydrogen electrode. So, SHE is only employed to determine the potential values of the second reference electrodes. There are two widely used second reference electrodes, they are calomel electrode and the AG AGCL electrode. So, we have discussed the construction and uh, working principle of uh, the calomel electrode. Calomel electrode, calomel is the commercial name of uh, HG2Cl2, mercurous chloride. The trade name of mercurous chloride is calomel. So, only the electrode is called uh, the calomel electrode. So, it consists of the calomel electrode consists of a glass tube, okay, at the bottom of the tube mercury is kept, mercury is pasted at the bottom of the tube and a paste of mercury, mercurous chloride and KCl covers the mercury. So, at the bottom mercury is kept and above it a paste of mercury, mercurous chloride and KCl is placed. Then that will have, that tube will have uh, two uh, side openings from one opening, one opening a solution of uh, KCl is employed and the concentration, three different concentrations of uh, KCl can be employed, 0.1 normal KCl, 1 normal KCl or saturated KCl. So, these th three different concentrations of KCl can be employed in the calomel electrode. And the potential value depends on the concentration of the KCl employed. I have told all this in my previous class. So, this is the electrolyte and the electrode is the calomel electrode. It is represented as Hg, Hg2Cl2, Cl minus a metal with its insoluble salt and the electrolyte will have the anion of the salt employed, anion of the salt used. Okay. So, this reference electrode, the calomel electrode just like the standard hydrogen electrode may act as anode as well as cathode. It depends on the nature of the other electrode with which it comes in contact. Okay. So, if it acts as anode, oxidation occurs at the anodic side and if this acts as cathode, reduction will take place at the cathodic site, at the electrode cathode. Okay. Then the potential values depend on the concentration of the electrolyte, electrolyte employed and the potential is the potential value decreases, the potential value decreases with increase in the concentration of the solution potassium chloride. So, then what are the advantages of the calomel electrode? Construction is quite simple and even maintenance is very easy and the potential values are stable and reproducible and this electrode can be employed over a wide range of temperatures. All this we have understood. Next we shall We shall move to the second, uh, the uh, I'm sorry, the one more uh, second reference electrode, AG AGCL electrode. So this is uh, uh, silver silver chloride electrode, one more uh, widely employed, widely used second reference electrodes. So it is also a second reference electrode. Uh, one more, uh, it is uh, one more example of uh, metal metal insoluble salt electrode. It consists of a thin wire of platinum. A thin wire of platinum, thin wire of platinum coated with silver electrolytically and further coated with silver chloride. Wire of platinum is coated with 
silver and silver chloride and this is dipped in a solution of KCl, KCl of known concentration. Just like how we can employ three different concentrations of KCl in case of uh, calomel electrode, even here three different concentrations of KCl, 0.1 normal KCl, 1 normal KCl and uh, saturated KCl can be employed. And the potential value of uh, the electrode, AG, AG cell electrode, again it depends on the concentration of the electrolyte KCl employed. So, it is an example of metal, metal insoluble salt electrode, just like calomel electrode only. And it consists of a thin wire, it is a wire, it, 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 it consists of a thin wire of platinum coated with, it is electrolytically coated with silver, then with silver chloride and it is dipped in a solution of KCl. This is how the electrode is represented, Ag, AgCl slash Cl minus, Ag, AgCl, Cl minus, a metal with its insoluble salt and a solution having the anion of the salt used. And even this electrode may act as anode or cathode. So, when it acts as anode, this is the reaction, Ag undergoes oxidation. So, at uh, the electrode an, uh, at the electrode uh, anode, oxidation occurs. So, Ag undergoes oxidation to give, uh, to form Ag plus and electrons are released. Ag plus combines with the Cl minus ions of the electrolyte, so that silver chloride is formed. And this is the net reaction, Ag plus plus Cl minus give AgCl and electrons. On the other hand, if it acts as cathode, it may act as cathode as well. So, this will be the reaction, AgCl gives Ag plus plus Cl minus. So, these Ag plus ions undergo reduction, so that silver is formed. Just like how the what uh, so the reactions occur in case of uh, uh, calomel electrode, even here, see the cathodic reaction is the exact reverse of, it is exact reverse of the anodic reaction. See AgCl gives Ag plus, the same reaction I have reversed, Ag plus plus Cl minus, this Ag plus combines with uh, uh, or it undergoes reduction, so that silver is formed. So, this is the net uh, uh, cathodic reaction. When it acts as anode, Ag plus plus Cl minus, the products are AgCl and electrons. When it acts as uh, cathode, AgCl, AgCl plus electron, the products are Ag plus Cl minus. So, the net reversible electrode, this is the net reversible electrode reaction. We have to represent, we have to give this only, the reaction that uh, um, that uh, occurs when it acts as, uh, that takes place when it acts as cathode. So, AgCl plus electron, AgCl plus uh, electron, give Ag plus plus Cl minus. And what about the potential values? We have seen now how the potential values vary in case of uh, calomel electrode with the change in the concentration of uh, potassium chloride, even here, even in this case, the potential of uh, silver, silver chloride electrode depends on the concentration of KCl, the electrolyte. So, when 0 0.1 normal KCl is employed as the electrolyte, the potential will be 0 0.291 volt. When 1 normal KCl is the electrolyte, its potential will be 0 0.2223 volts. And uh, when saturated KCl is employed as the electrolyte, the potential will be 0 0.199 volt. So, the potential as you increase the concentration of uh, KCl, the potential value decreases, the potential of uh, the silver silver chloride electrode decreases. So, only we say the potential of Ag, AgCl electrode is dependent on the concentration of chloride ions and the electrode potential is reversible with the concentration of chloride ion. The potential of silver silver chloride electrode is reversible with the concentration of chloride ions. So, silver silver chloride electrode 
consists of a thin wire of silver. It is coated electrolytically with uh, silver and uh, then silver chloride. Then it is dipped in a solution of KCl of known concentration. Three concentrations of KCl we can employ 0 0.1, 1 and uh, saturated and this is how the electrode is represented. AG, AgCl, Cl minus and these are the reactions that occur when the electrode acts as anode and uh, cathode. When it acts as anode, Ag plus plus Cl minus, the products are AgCl plus electron. When it acts as cathode, AgCl plus electron give Ag plus plus Cl minus and the potential values are for 0 0.1 normal KCl, 0 0.291 volt, for 1 normal KCl, 0.223 volt and for saturated KCl, 0.1. 1991. Then what are the advantages of this silver silver chloride electrode? Construction is simple just like uh, the calomel electrode even here the construction is simple and it is compact. It is widely used in laboratory because it is inexpensive, non-toxic and very stable. Then it is a superior temperature, see it is also one of the advantages. It is a superior temperature range makes it usable even above 125 to 130 degrees Celsius. The electrode potential is constant and reproducible and the potential does not vary much with temperature. Then what are the applications of this silver silver chloride electrode? They are, these electrodes are used in corrosion studies and uh, use it as an internal reference electrode in glass electrode. So that we will be discussing in our next class, the construction of glass electrode and uh, the determination of pH using glass electrode. Okay. Glass electrode is an ion selective electrode, <coughs> it is selective, this glass electrode is uh, selective to H plus ion, it senses H plus ions. So it is employed to measure the pH of the solution. Okay, so, in glass electrode, there will be one internal reference electrode. This AG, AG, CL electrode is employed as the internal reference electrode in glass electrode. So, that glass electrode is used in measuring the, uh, in determining the pH of the solutions and used in uh, this uh, Fourier transform infrared spectrometers, FTIR spectrometers. So what are the factors, what factors can affect the potential of a reference electrode? Is there any factor which has a marked effect on the potential of uh, these reference electrodes? See the potential varies with temperature. The potential values of uh, the reference electrode vary with temperature. So it will be typically from 0 0.5 to 1 millivolt per degree Celsius. Okay. This much variation we can see in the potential value with the change in the temperature. Then the potentials of calomel and AG, AGCL electrodes are affected by the concentration of chloride ions. We have seen no, how the potential values vary. As you increase the concentration of uh, KCL, the potential value decreases. So the potentials of these two electrodes are affected by the concentration of chloride ion in the solution. The potentials of these electrodes remain constant as long as the concentration of Cl minus remains constant. So as long as the concentration of Cl minus remains constant, even there the potential values of these two electrodes will be constant. Then how to determine the electrode potential, how to measure the electrode potential making use of calomel electrode? In our previous class, we have seen how the electrode potentials, how the potential values of uh, different electrodes, different metals are determined making use of uh, the standard hydrogen electrode. Now we will see how the potential measurement is, how the electrode potential is measured with the help of uh, the secondary reference electrode, calomel electrode. See, this uh, diagram very clearly shows uh, the arrangement required. So the metal, so this is the test electrode. Okay. So we need to measure the potential of zinc. So zinc is dipped in a solution having its own ions, zinc sulphate. Say I have taken zinc sulphate in this container and a rod of zinc is dipped into it 
and uh, we all very well know that this is uh, the calomel electrode okay say saturated calomel electrode i have taken so these two are combined they are connected to a voltmeter and uh, so this side tube itself i have already told this side tube acts as uh, salt bed right so here uh, see here you can see mercury uh, uh, we have already discussed the construction of uh, this uh, calomel electrode mercury is kept at the bottom of the tube then uh, this uh, mercury is covered by a paste of uh, mercury mercurous chloride and uh, kcl then from this uh, from this end uh, from this opening uh, solution of kcl is introduced here uh, we have taken saturated uh, solution of kcl so from this end it is introduced the electrolyte is introduced and uh, the electrolyte the electrolyte uh, fills this uh, side tube so this acts as uh, salt bridge so no need of any extra salt bridge extra salt bridge is not at all required because this side tube is filled with the saturated solution of kcl and even the salt bridge uh, the composition of salt bridge is uh, kcl only so this side tube itself acts as a salt bridge so the, in this container i have taken a solution of uh, the solution of uh, zinc sulfate is uh, um, taken and this zinc rod the, the, the zinc sulfate of known concentration and zinc rod is uh, dipped into it so this is connected to the uh, the saturated calomel electrode okay so this gives th this forms a cell and uh, it measures the potential of this cell so how to represent the cell the cell is represented as see we all very well know that the anode should be written on the left and the cathode should be written on the right so this is uh, this is anode zinc is anode and uh, zinc is anode and uh, this saturated calomel electrode is cathode therefore the electro i am sorry the cell is represented as zn zn2 plus zn slash zn2 plus then two vertical lines these two vertical lines represent the salt bridge and uh, on the right we need to represent the calomel electrode so zn zn2 plus slash hg hg2cl2 slash cl minus that's what okay now we will discuss how the potential of an electrode is determined using uh, one of the second reference electrodes uh, calomel electrode so in our uh, previous class i have explained how the potential how the electrode potential values are determined making use of uh, the standard hydrogen electrode so the test electrode is coupled is connected to the standard hydrogen electrode and uh, the potential they are connected to a voltmeter so the test electrode must be dipped in a solution uh, uh, containing its own ions and uh, we must be knowing the concentration of uh, the 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 solution employed okay so then uh, when those two electrodes are connected to a voltmeter uh, it will give us the potential of uh, the cell so e cell it measures since the potential of uh, the standard hydrogen electrode is known it is zero we can easily calculate we can easily determine the potential of the test electrode so since due to the difficulties involved in uh, the construction and working of uh, uh, the primary reference electrode she so this calomel electrode can be employed to determine the potential of uh, the test electrodes but the potential values of the secondary electrodes uh, calomel electrode and ag ag cl electrode have been determined making use of uh, she only as the reference electrode standard hydrogen electrode as the reference electrode only now we shall discuss how we shall understand how the electrode potential is uh, determined with uh, the help of calomel electrode so this is the arrangement uh, uh, required to determine the electrode potential say i have taken uh, a rod of zinc so we need to determine the potential of zinc electrode so zinc uh, this is zinc electrode a rod of uh, zinc zinc rod okay and uh, this as we all know is uh, uh, the 
calomel electrode, saturated calomel electrode I have employed. So it is nothing but a glass tube at the bottom of the tube uh, platinum is kept. So this is, I am sorry, uh, mercury is kept and uh, the paste of mercury, mercurous chloride and KCl covers uh, the mercury. Then uh, there are uh, two openings, okay. One from this end, uh, from this opening the solution of uh, KCl which is nothing but the electrolyte is employed and uh, three different concentrations of KCl we can employ but uh, here we have taken saturated uh, solution of KCl. So saturated solution of KCl is introduced from this end and uh, this is the side tube which acts as uh, a salt bridge. We all very well know the composition of salt bridge. So salt bridge uh, is usually filled with a saturated solution of uh, KCl. It is a U shaped tube filled with uh, a solution of KCl. So since KCl itself is the electrolyte here and uh, see it, it fills the side tube. So this side tube itself acts as uh, the salt bridge. So this is a half cell and this is the other half cell. So these two are connected to a voltmeter which measures the potential of the cell. So zinc rod dipped in a solution having uh, containing its own ions, so zinc sulphate solution I have taken, zinc sulphate of known concentration I have taken, okay. So this side tube uh, completes uh, the salt bridge, completes the circuit. So this is nothing but a cell now, okay. This is a cell. How to represent the cell? We all know the representation. We have uh, understood uh, or we all very well know how the, uh, how a galvanic cell is uh, represented, anode should be written on the left. So Zn slash Zn2 plus, then uh, two vertical lines, anode should be written on the left and cathode should be written on the right. Therefore, uh, the cathode is Hg, Hg2Cl2, Cl minus. Okay, so here zinc acts as anode, zinc is anode and the saturated calomel electrode is cathode. So this calomel electrode or uh, the reference electrode may act as anode or cathode and it depends on the this nature of the other electrode with which it is connected to. Okay. So this is how the cell is represented. So that is what I have shown here, Zn, Zn2 plus. So initially Zn will be there. So this, this, this single vertical line represents a, a phase difference, a boundary difference between a metal atom and its ion. So this is anode and this is cathode. So what about the cell reactions? At the anode oxidation occurs, zinc undergoes oxidation to give, uh, to form Zn2 plus and electrons are released and uh, these electrons, these electrons migrate to the cathode, the electrode cathode and they are consumed by the cathode. And what about that reaction? See the, cath the reaction that occurs at uh, the electrode cathode is Hg2Cl2 plus 2 electron and the products are Hg plus Cl minus, okay. So the net reaction will be say these two get cancelled Zn plus Hg2Cl2 give Zn2 plus plus 2 Hg plus 2 Cl minus, okay. Zn plus Hg2Cl2 and the products are Zn2 plus plus 2 Hg plus 2 Cl minus. And the EMF, how to determine the EMF of the cell? See, we have represented the cell and uh, these are the cell reactions. How the EMF of uh, the electrode zinc is determined? It is determined by potentiometric method. So we all very well know that uh, E cell is E cathode minus E anode. So E cathode minus E anode, Cathom, cathode is the calomel electrode. So SC we have taken. So E cell is equal to E S C E minus E Zn2 plus Zn zinc electrode. 
So, this is how the EMF, uh, um, I am sorry, the potential of the test electrode is determined. Okay. So, we know the potential of the calomel electrode and uh, this gives the potential of the cell. So, E cell is known, E cell is measured and we know the potential of the calomel electrode. Therefore, E Z n 2 plus the zinc electrode, the potential of zinc electrode is E S C E minus EMF of the cell. Similarly, standard electrode potential, what is the standard electrode potential of uh, zinc when the concentration of Z n 2 plus is 1? So, when it is 1, then it will be the standard electrode potential, the SRP, the standard electrode potential of zinc. It is 0 0.0.2422 minus E naught cell, then that will be E naught cell. This will be E naught cell when the concentration of uh, zinc sulphate is 1 molar, this will be E naught, then this will be E naught of zinc. This is how the potential values are determined with the help of or making use of the calomel electrode. Now, uh, we shall discuss on uh, ion selective electrodes. I have uh, already told uh, what are ion selective electrodes while uh, explaining the different types of electrodes. So, uh, this is uh, one of uh, the types of electrodes which is selective to a particular ion okay? and it develops uh, potential proportional to the concentration of only that ion ignoring the uh, all the other ions present in the solution. So, ion selective electrodes can selectively detect and quantitatively measure a particular ion. They can selectively detect, so only the name selective ion selective electrodes, ISE ion selective electrodes. Okay. In a mixture, in a mixture these electrodes sense only a particular ion, neglecting all the other ions present in the solution and uh, they develop a potential proportional to the concentration of only that particular ion. So, and the potential developed is a function of the concentration of that particular ion. The potential value of this electrode depends on the concentration of only that ion, which is uh, censored by the ion selective electrode. So, these electrodes usually consist of a membrane and that membrane is capable of exchanging a specific ion with which it is in contact. So, the membrane is capable of exchanging a particular ion with the with, with which it is in contact. So, it is capable of exchanging a particular ion with the solution with which it is in contact. Therefore, these electrodes are also known as the membrane electrodes they are also called the membrane electrodes. There are few factors which decide the suitability of uh, these membranes. They are the membrane should not be polluted by surfactants, it must be chemically stable, okay. it must be chemically stable in solutions of varying pH in organic solvents and uh, reducing and oxidizing environments. So, the membrane must be chemically stable in uh, different and uh, different uh, pH conditions. In organic solvents, they must be stable and uh, even in uh, the presence of reducing and oxidizing uh, um, uh, environment, the membrane must be stable and it should possess sufficient mechanical strength and necessary electrical content, uh, electrical conductance. So, these are the few factors which decide the suitability of the membrane that is employed in the ion selective electrodes. What are the different types of ion selective electrodes? There are certain types, okay. there are two types, okay. these two types are crystalline membrane electrodes and non-crystalline membrane electrodes. Crystalline membrane electrodes, a thin in crystalline membrane electrodes, a thin crystalline membrane is used. 
So, in these uh, crystalline membrane electrodes, a thin crystalline membrane is used. There are two types, again there are two types, single crystal and uh, polycrystalline, okay. Two types of uh, crystalline membrane electrodes are single crystal and polycrystalline or mixed crystal. Single crystal, example is lanthanum fluoride for uh, sensing, for measuring fluoride ions. Here the membrane consists of a single lanthanum fluoride crystal which is doped with uh, europium fluoride to reduce the bulk resistivity of the crystal. It is selective to fluoride ions and is only interfered by OH minus ions which reacts with the lanthanum to form lanthanum hydroxide. So, this is used to sense uh, the fluoride ions, okay. Then polycrystalline or mixed crystalline is silver sulphide, Ag2S for uh, Ag plus and uh, the sulphide ions. It consists of a membrane fabricated with uh, pure or doped Ag2S, silver sulphide. Then uh, non-crystalline membrane electrodes. So, non-crystalline membrane electrodes, these are uh, the uh, types, glass, glass electrode which consists of silicate glass for measuring uh, Na plus ions and uh, H plus ions, okay. In our next class, we will be discussing the, uh, discussing about this glass electrode, uh, how the glass electrode is constructed and uh, how the glass electrode is employed to measure the, determine, to determine the pH of the solutions, okay. So, it is uh, made of uh, a special type of glass. Okay, silicate glass for measuring Na plus and uh, H plus ions. Then liquid state membranes, liquid ion exchangers, they are selective to cations and anions. Then uh, monocyclic crown ethers in hydrocarbon solvent. Then a calcium sensitive electrode which consists of calcium dialkyl phosphoric acid. Then immobilized liquid in a rigid polymer. So, the example is polyvinyl chloride matrix, PVC matrix for uh, sensing Ca2 plus ions and uh, NO3 minus ions, nitrate ions. So, in today's class, we have uh, understood the construction and uh, um, working principle of uh, silver silver chloride electrode, um, one more type of, uh, one more uh, uh, ref secondary reference electrode, how silver silver chloride electrode is constructed and uh, what are the reactions. Uh, that occur in uh, silver silver chloride electrode when it acts as anode and uh, cathode and how that uh, electrode is uh, represented, what are its uh, applications. Then uh, we have uh, understood how the electrode potential is determined uh, making use of uh, a second reference electrode uh, calomel electrode. Then uh, we have discussed about uh, the uh, different types of uh, ion selective electrodes starting from what are ion selective electrodes and uh, uh, the different types of ion selective electrodes with uh, suitable examples. In our next class, we shall discuss about uh, the construction and uh, working of uh, construction, working principle of glass electrode and how that glass electrode is used in the measurement of pH of a solution. Thank you.